In a previous video, I went over the construction of my trailer test panel version 1.5. In this video, I will demonstrate how to use it to test your trailer lights. In the construction video, which I will post a link here, I did a basic test of the unit using a four-wire trailer light configuration, which basically means left turn, right turn, brake, and taillights. I did that just as a quick demonstration of its basic functionality. In this video, we will expand on the capabilities and show how to test a 7-pin trailer wiring setup. And I'm also going to test it with a new project that I've just completed, and that is for the leveler controller, so I can turn my Levelmate Pro leveler on and off from the cab of the truck simply by putting the vehicle in reverse. And to test that without having it connected to the truck, I can use this trailer test panel. After plugging the test set into the RV's 7-pin trailer harness, you can see that the AX battery LED is on, which confirms that there is battery power to the test set from the RV's 12-volt system. And since I know I'm receiving power, then all these functions should work. And again, if you're testing a four-wire trailer or something that does not have a battery, then there is a battery connection here, and I can connect it up to a 12-volt battery with a pair of battery cables. And I also want to draw your attention to the banana plugs across the top here. From right to left, we have a white, blue, red, black, green, brown, and yellow banana plug. Below that, there's also a legend showing white, blue, yellow, black, slash red, brown, green, and violet. Of course, these two do not match. The significance of this is there are two color codes commonly used with trailers. And I've covered this before with my other trailer 7-pin connector videos, but in case you've not seen those, I'm going to cover it here as well. The RV trailer standard is found in NFPA 1192, and the banana plugs follow that standard. If you look to the legend above the LEDs, you will see GD, which stands for ground, EB, or electric brake, LT, which is left turn, Auxiliary, AX bat, TM, which is the taillight marker, RT, which is the right turn, and back up. Below, you'll see a marking that says SAE J2863. The SAE J2863 is the other standard for sump pin trailer wiring, and you may find that more on a gooseneck trailer or just a regular trailer other than an RV trailer. If you have an RV, you're going to have one color code. If you're going to have a standard trailer, you're going to have a different color code. And the color code for SA2863 are the white, blue, yellow, black, red, brown, green, and violet labels under the banana plugs. So for NFPA 1192, you use the color code on the banana plugs. For J2863, you use the color code designation under the banana plugs. If that seems confusing, well, it is. The good news, though, is regardless of the color code, the function, which is the GD, EB, LT, AUX, BAT, TMRT, and BU, those are the same regardless of the colors of the wires. So in reality, the only difference between the two standards is the color code of the wires, and once the colors are matched correctly, the functions are the same in each cable. So in essence, this is just a SAE to NFPA cross-reference that I had printed on a panel. And so I'm going to hit the taillight marker, right turn, taillight marker off, and finally the brake. And finally I will test the backup circuit of the 7-pin cable. What you see here is an upcoming project I call the Leveler Controller, which allows you to turn your Levelmate Pro on with a trigger signal. For this demo, I've connected the trigger circuit to the reverse circuit, which is labeled BU for backup, in the 7-pin cable. When I turn the reverse switch on, it trips the trigger lead of the leveler controller, turning the Levelmate Pro on. Then, when I turn the trigger off, the output will stay on until a prescribed amount of time, which after the leveler controller will turn off automatically. In this case, the backup switch on the trailer test set mimics putting the tow vehicle in reverse. Look for this project in an upcoming video. 
This demo just shows you the versatility of the trailer test set version 1.5. Visit rv-project.com.